This is the zone, the art zone. Today we'll be creating some very remarkable arts and crafts. We will only use materials found around the house and the natural world. You will be amazed how easy it is to create with things you usually throw out. Today we're going to hook up with Kimmy and be creative, artistic, and resourceful. I'm going to show you how to collect materials, build a house, and some wonderful guests are gonna stop by. Let's get into the zone. Welcome to the Art Zone. Today we're going to be making a board game. You're going to need a nice great big circle of cardboard, paper, felts, and some more paper. And let's get started. All right. We just started with a circular piece of cardboard. We covered it with white material or white paper, it doesn't matter. And there we have it. We just used a ruler for these and a great big plate for that one and a smaller plate for that one. What else, Bronson? We colored it in. We colored it in. But we're going to add more color. Mm -hmm. And your board game doesn't have to be like ours. You can make any kind of board game. Here's our men. These men are made from paper mache, just wrapped up with some wallpaper paste. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have wallpaper paste, you can use to use some flour and water as a mix. That's right. We've got some cards made up, little TP cards. And we're going to place them here to pick a card. These ones all say, go back three spaces or miss a turn. They're not really the greatest TPs to pick up. But these guys are going to have trivia questions on them. So Bronson, should we do some designing in these TPs first? Or should we think of some trivia questions? Mm, uh, I say we design them in first. Okay. We're just going to use felts. I'm gonna go with just some lines and some triangles. And of course you can put any kind of design in here. You can put pictures of animals if you want. Now, if you're going to make your game, say, square, right, you might want to choose a different um, shape for where you're going to put your cards. You could have long houses if you wanted. You can have your favorite basketball team if you like basketball or any kind of sports. You got it. You can make any kind of game you want. Just as long as it's made by you. This is a psychedelic teepee. And if you don't want to make your homemade um, playing men, you can also use things that you find around the house. Caps to bottles can be your men. Just make it nice and colorful so you want to play it. Odd zone. Odd zone. Odd zone. Zone. Bronson, I think my little teepees here have enough design. I'm going to start on my cards. Okay. Okay. I'll think of a, a question, and then you see if you can answer it. So then we can, and then I'll write the question down. All right. What can I think of? Hmm. 
Okay, Bronson. What nation lives on the Queen Charlotte Islands? Uh, Korea? No, 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 no. Hide a nation. Yeah, okay, that's my question. And then I'll put the answer upside down on this side in really small printing. You're gonna have to make sure you're honest. Oh, I got one. What's a West Coast gathering giveaway? Oh, I know this one. Uh, a potluck. Wrong. What? It's a potlatch. Oh, jeepers. Okay, well. So I'm gonna write that one down. That was a good one. I knew it started with a P. Oh, Bronson, I've got a really good trivia question for you. Ready? Ready. What is a First Nations musical and dance gathering called? An Indian party? <laughs> no. Ding, ding, ding. Wrong answer. A powwow. How could I forget that? A <laughs> powwow. Okay, let me write that one down. You don't have to have a trivia game. You could have any kind of game. You can ask any kind of questions you want. Hmm. Okay, I've got some here. Now, so your trivia questions can go over there. You can write as many as you want. And here's something I was, I was gonna show. Instead of having dice, you throw sticks. And you have to know your directions, north, south, east, and west. And only the sticks that are pointing north and south are counted. These sticks are just matches with the tops cut off. And you don't go nowhere. Oh, well, this one's almost north and south a little bit. Nope, you can't cheat. Oh, cheap. Okay, you try. Okay. I should have said east and west. What's that? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, look who's cheating now. <laughs> I'm okay. just kidding. I'll go for real. And one, two. I don't know. I would accept that one, too. All right? One, two, three. Three. So then this little guy would move three. One, two, three. And that's how you make a board game here in the art zone. Bronson, you want to have a game of TP trivia? Sure. Can I go first? Go ahead. Just gonna run back. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> walk along here to get to Zoe's house. He's coming up to Zoe's house. Come in. Okay. Hi, Bronson. Hi. Come on in. What's up, Marty? <laughs> hey, you. Hey, what's up, Zoe? Come on up. You came to check out my new transformer drawer, did you? Yep. Well, it's right up here in my office. Right over here. Ta-da! Oh, you got so much stuff in here. <laughs> I know, it's a little out of control. <laughs> but, um, let's see, I've got, you know, office kind of stuff, like staplers and pens and stuff, but there's also lots of other things, like empty gum containers for some reason. <laughs> and, um... What else? Oh, there's some pipe cleaners here. Do you ever pipe use those? Cleaners. I always use pipe cleaners. Yeah. Better than twist ties because they're more colorful. Yeah, those are nice red ones. <laughs> what else? Hey, some material. Yeah. Where'd you get this from? I made a big pillow for my living room. And uh, this is just the leftover material. It's kind of velvety, soft stuff. What do you think I can use this for? 
sofa for the playhouse or oh that would be a really nice sofa maybe even a bed like a mattress oh yeah cool oh yeah you're making that playhouse for your little brother right mm -hmm. cool yeah you can keep that if you want oh you think you take this stuff yeah go for it okay cool well thanks for inviting me into your house and showing me your cool transformer drawer no problem and now i'm gonna take these back to the yard zone and i'm gonna Transform this into something new. This house is completely done. Everything is made from recycled materials found around the house. You can make one too. Every time we get together, we'll make something for the playhouse. Are you with us? Then let's get started. Welcome to the home zone. Today we're going to make patio furniture with an umbrella. You're going to need popsicle sticks, paper, a couple uh, pencils, cardboard, styrofoam, glue, exacto knives, scissors, and more glue. More glue it is. How about, can I, can I make the lawn chair? All right, you make the lawn chair and I'll make the umbrella. And for the lawn chair, all we did was just get an X-Acto knife and one of those little mini saws and just smooth it out. And that's how we got this shape. For the umbrella, all we did was cut a piece of paper in a circular shape and we cut it into pie shapes. For the legs, we just got some popsicle sticks and just snipped them so they have a nice sharp edge so I can just stick them in there. Make sure they're all the same size about in there. And I have to cut my popsicle sticks in half this way. That works. Mm, that works pretty good. Are you going to round off those edges, Bronson? Yeah, I think I'm going to round them off with the exacto knife. And you can't just go just cut straight with this. It's kind of back and forth. How is your umbrella coming along? White glue's the best for your umbrella to make sure these little wood bits stick to the paper. I might even have to add a bit of tape. You never know. And if you're wondering how I got this nice circle, all I used was a plate, and I traced around the plate. And I have to cut a little cardboard circle for the middle of my umbrella. Put it right there. I've cut my circle out of a little piece of cardboard and now I just have to put a hole in the middle with my scissors. Now you know what Bronson, I think I'm going to have to add a lot of tape to this to get this happening. Okay then. Okay. Now I'm just going to cut out this small little table made out of styrofoam. I'm going to get my creases in between my um, popsicle sticks so that my umbrella opens nicely. It's looking good. We've got our nice lawn chair done, and I've just finished my table. I have taped the smithereens out of my umbrella and added my little disc, a little bit of a tube here, and I used a, a pencil crayon, but you could use Chopstick. Chopstick or whatever you wanted. It's time to put our umbrella and chairs and our little table up in our patio. We're ready to suntan. <laughs> oh, I know what we need. We need a little drink on that table that has an umbrella. Thing. A little, <laughs> little tiny one. Lemonade. We're getting our tan. Never mind, I already have my tan nicely here. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> and that's our patio set here in the home zone. Good news. Today's occasion is feather gathering. We're going to go into nature, hook up with my friend Peter. Are you with us? Then let's go. Yo, man, today looks like a good day. Yeah, it looks like a good day. Probably find some feathers. I mean, man, we are gonna find some feathers. 
It's always a surprise. We'll find some more, probably. Definitely. Yo, Peter. Hey. Did you find anything yet? Nope, not yet. News did I. Still looking? Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, here we go. Oh, you found one. It's a pretty nice it's one. It's a nice one, too. Let me see that. I wonder what kind of feather that is. No clue. Man. Hey. Hey, look. This looks like an eagle feather. Oh, wait. This shiny line right here, it's waterproof for the goose. So he doesn't get the spare skin all wet. <laughs> Thought I got his needle feather. Oh well, still just as good. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna take these back to the zone. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, can you do that again so I can see how it's done? Take a look again. We're going to take a look again at how to make a game board. You will need cardboard, belts, sticks, tubes, and players. Cut your cardboard into any shape or size. Are you going to draw squares, footsteps, bear paws? It's up to you. Decide where your start and finish will be. Decide if you're going to use dice or throw sticks. Have fun creating players with the tops of bottles and plastic containers. Create some cards with interesting questions. Invite your friends over for a tournament. Odd zone, odd zone. Go on a mission. Odd zone. Go on a mission. Everyone is into good health these days. It's the only way to be. Healthy and strong. It's good to remember to be good to your mind, your soul, and your body. That means doing things that you enjoy and doing things that are good for you. Eat well, live well, play outside, breathe the air. I try to do all those, plus I try to remember to take my vitamins. It's the way of looking after my health. I like vitamin C the best, the chewable ones that taste like orange. Yummy and good for me. We end up with some empty vitamin bottles every day. We can't reuse everything, but these are plastic and they can be recycled. Hey, can you do that again so I can see how it's done? Take a look again. We're going to take a look again at how to make lawn furniture. You will need styrofoam, wooden stir sticks, chopsticks, material, glue, and tape. Use the corner pieces of styrofoam for your chairs. Cut your desired size and add legs to the bottom. Now for the table. Cut a piece of material in a circle. Tape your stir sticks together and place them in a star shape. Now you have an umbrella for your patio. Get the lemonade. It's time to sit outside on your lawn furniture and enjoy the outdoors. Here in the Yard Zone, we are committed to treating Mother Earth in a respectful and gentle way. That's why we use all recycled materials when we're making art. We want to keep the earth in a good way because we all need clean air and water. A clean earth is important for healthy living, for all beings. So do your best and see what you can do for Mother Earth. Let's all take care of her. Art is seen all around us every day, from drawing, painting, animation, beading, and film, and lots, lots more. Today in the Art Zone, we have a wonderful guest who's going to tell us about art in their traditional language. Hello, Mary. Welcome to Art Zone. It seems like you brought all sorts of stuff for basket weaving. 
Thanks, Mary. It's nice to hear your traditional language. Emma. Thanks to all of you for joining me today in the Art Zone. Life is good. It's all good. Art and craft making and being respectful to the natural world. See you again soon, and remember, use your imagination and have fun. Peace. Odds on. Odds on. Odds on.